Welcome to another edition of Four Downs with the Czar. I'm Emory Hunt, the Czar of the Playbook here at MetLife Stadium where the New York Giants knocked off the New Orleans Saints 16 to 13 in an outstanding contest. Let's start with first downs. Looking at the Giants offense in the first half, those two wide receivers, Victor Cruz and Odell Beckham Jr. were putting a lot of stress on the Saints secondary. They had some success early on. The running game was very minimal to non-existent quite honestly and I think if the Giants can get some type of ground game going early on in ball games, they wouldn't have to sweat it out later on in the contest but you look at those receivers like I said Victor Cruz and also Odell Beckham Jr. were putting a lot of stress on that Saints secondary. Looking at the Saints offense in the first half you have to be impressed with their offensive line how they were able to hold up from a pass protection standpoint I thought they did a great job keeping Drew Brees clean in the pocket. Mike Thomas a rookie wide receiver from Ohio State started to come on strong in the second quarter. The run game had their moments but they didn't stick with it enough to where they can develop the play action passing game but again first half that offensive line was the big story of the Saints offense. Moving on to second down, the Giants defense in the first half. I thought Landon Collins showed himself pretty well in this ball game. He made his presence felt early, both versus a run and also in the pass defense department. Their back seven looked outstanding in coverage. They did a great job in shutting down the Saints running game in the second quarter. So again, that defense of the Giants, like we talked about in the preseason throughout training camp, this will be a very good defense moving forward. And again, when you're able to frustrate an offense like the Saints that's very multiple, it bodes well for the defense's chances moving forward. The special teams also got the key play of the game. Jonathan Hankins was able to squeeze through that interior offensive line of the Saints for the block field goal, which ended up being a big play in the game because Janoris Jenkins, I'm sorry, Jack Rabbit was able to scoop it up and bring it back for six, giving them the first touchdown of the game. So the defense and the special teams for the Giants played well in the first half. Looking at the Saints defense in the first half, you have to give credit to their defensive line. Both Paul Kruger and Cameron Jordan did a great job collapsing the pocket. They really curtailed the Giants running game, shut it down essentially. And on the back end, despite a few big plays, maybe one big play, you have to give Sterling Moore credit for what he was able to do today versus Odell Beckham. Again, this was an already thin secondary that got even thinner when P.J. Williams went out with a serious neck injury or concussion, I'm sorry. So the same secondary played well in the first half. The defense shut down the running game. And look, they forced three turnovers. You can't ask for anything other or anything else from your defense than what they did in that first half. Moving on to third down, second half offense for the New York Giants. Two huge holding calls on the opening drive. It was a big time drive by the Giants. It looked like they were going to go in for a touchdown. Two holding calls curtailed that drive and forced them to settle for a field goal, which honestly ended up being a big play as well. But again, they could have had a touchdown, but self-inflicted wounds was the problem. The passing game started to come alive. Sterling Shepard was a huge nuisance in the slot, running a big corner route and got a big play down the field in the passing game, which got them in position to possibly score a touchdown before those two holding calls. So again, Sterling Shepard showing himself he had a good first quarter, disappeared in the second quarter, third quarter showed up and played well and made a big play on the last drive to get down inside the, across the 50 before Victor Cruz made the biggest play of the game, putting them down inside the five-yard line. Victor Cruz played an outstanding contest today, showing himself to be healthy 100% and ready to contribute for this off to this offense for the full 16-game season. I also think Shane Vereen gives the Giants a little bit something extra in the running game from a receiving standpoint, obviously, and also from a running standpoint, does a great job of picking and sliding his way in the little creases and finding openings in the defense and was able to make plays. He was the one running back that really frustrated the Saints defense. Moving on to the Saints offense in the second half, it was more of a patient passing attack with Willie Sneed catching the 17-yard touchdown. They worked left to right. They got a lot of receivers involved. I think the biggest play in the game for the Saints in the second half was the drop by Brandon Coleman. You expect your 6'6", 200-pound receiver to make a play like that. It would have been a tough catch. He gave a phenomenal effort to twist his body around to make the play, but he should have held on to the ball, which would have put the Saints in even better position to probably come away with a touchdown instead of a field goal. And finally, on fourth down, looking at the Giants' defense in the second half, Eli Apple played a great game, and that's what I like about what the Giants are doing with their secondary. They're putting a lot of pressure on uh, opposing offenses because they're able to match up one-on-one -on -one across the board, and the Saints tried to target the rookie Eli Apple, but he stepped up big, knocking away two huge passes, one on Brandon Coleman near the end zone, which broke up a big play and did a great 
great job in versus the run, I'm sorry, as well. And so Eli Apple played a great game for a rookie. And the Giants defensive line really couldn't get pressure on Drew Brees, which is why the second half passing game for New Orleans really caught fire and nearly costed them a game. And for the Saints defense in the second half, defensive line was outstanding, getting pressure on Eli Manning, bringing him down twice, also completely shutting down the running game for the Giants. And the third and fourth quarter, I thought they had issues in the secondary, covering Sterling Shepard. They moved him around the formation, and they also, at the end of the day, gave up the biggest play, uh, two big plays back-to-back. -back. Odell Beckham dropped one here on the corner of the end zone, this side of the end zone. But on the next play, Victor Cruz stepped up with the biggest play of the game, catching one where if the defensive back of New Orleans turns around, the ball hits him in the life. He could swallow the football if he turned around just to find the ball and knock it away. So, again, they had issues in the third and later in the fourth quarter as far as defending these giant wide receivers. Offensive player of the game for the Giants, you have to give it to Victor Cruz. Again, it won't show up in the stat sheet as the biggest player of the game, but he made the biggest player of the game, catching that football, that deep fade route down the sideline, inside the five-yard line, just after Odell Beckham dropped what would have been a potential game-winning touchdown. So you have to give the credit to Victor Cruz for getting that big play and putting the Giants in position to kick the game-winning field goal. Defensive player of the game for the New York Giants, in my opinion, was safety Landon Collins. Had an outstanding day versus the run. You saw him get a TFL early in the game, get a sack, also break up a huge pass on third down. So, again, he was playing well all season long. This just stems back to what we saw him have in training camp, a great training camp, carried over into the preseason and now into the regular season, and he had a huge day today versus New Orleans. Player of the game for the New Orleans Saints. I can't single out one particular player, but I will give it to the Saints' entire offensive line. This was a great showing against a very good defensive front of New York. They had some success running the football. They just didn't stick with it. They also kept Drew Brees very clean in the pocket. So this Saints offensive line, the entire offensive line, despite some injuries, played a very good game. Defensive player of the game for the New Orleans Saints, I would say rookie Von Bell, the safety, was called upon to play multiple roles in his defense. And he played an outstanding game. Again, just like Landon Collins, they asked him to be a very good run defender. They also asked him to do things differently in the pass defense department. He played exceptionally well, six tackles, also made a big play in the passing game. So again, I thought Von Bell played a great game for New Orleans. So that's a wrap for me from MetLife Stadium where the Giants knocked off the Saints 16-13. For more of our Four Downs with the Czar segments, visit our website, footballgameplan.com slash Four Downs with the Czar.